Hello second graders and welcome to Skills Block Day 36, Words Rule. Our learning targets for the day. I can identify compound words in the treehouse sleepover. I can read, identify, and spell compound words and non-compound words correctly. Now let's read the poem line by line. Open up your ears to find the rhyme. When we read together, we sound great. Listen up to the rhymes we make. Today we're going to read a poem together. First, you will read along as I read. Then we'll read it together, me reading here and you reading at home, and think about the words that we read. The Treehouse Sleepover. One night at bedtime, I stayed outside, under the moonlight, up in the treehouse, where it was easy to hide. Nobody saw me tucked out of sight, a branch from my bedroom, a firefly became my nightlight. I dreamed of a big, colorful butterfly in flight. In the morning, I saw the doghouse to my right, walked past the goldfish who was still asleep. Can't wait to have pancakes for my morning treat. Great job reading it alongside me. Notice that when we were reading, we were reading it smoothly with expression, with meaning, and at just the right speed. Now let's take a minute to read the poem to yourself. And while you're reading it to yourself, I want you to think about words that share the same sound. See if you can find a few words and remember them so you can share them with somebody at home. Great job reading, reading the poem to yourself. Now let's look at some of the words that share similar sounds. First I see the word sleepover. Bedtime. Moonlight. Bedroom. Great job. All of these words are compound words. They are two words put together to make a new word. Do you see any more? Nightlight, doghouse, and goldfish. Great job. Today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the words that you discovered and some other compound words. Can you take a closer look a closer look, a closer look. Can you take a closer look at these words today? Your turn. Yes, we'll take a closer look, a closer look, a closer look. Yes, we'll take a closer look to group the words today. Here are some of the words that we read in the poem and some new words. Let's take a minute to examine these words and think about how they're similar and different. Bedtime, moonlight, firefly, sleepover, doghouse, goldfish, nightlight, dazzle, maple, jacket, mascot, respond, retire, polite, cabin, rocket, bundle, and humpback. What do you notice about these words? How are they similar? Some words are two-syllable compound words. Great job, like bed, time, dog, house. When you split some of the words by syllables, they, aren't, they are not full words, just parts of words. And so those are how they're different. Some words are not compound. With mascot, they're still two-syllable, but when I split up by the syllable, they're not real words. Mascot, polite cabin. Whereas in our compound words, when I split them up by the syllable, the words could stand on their own. So let's put these words into two groups, compound words and not compound words. First, let's look at the word bedtime. Think about both syllables. Do you hear two words inside of this word? Bedtime. Yes, and if I were to take the two syllables apart, the words could stand on their own. So bedtime is our first compound word. 
because we hear two words inside of bedtime. Bed and time are two separate words that come together to make bedtime, which means the time you go to bed. So now let's practice reading and writing these words. First, I'll read a word, and I want you to decide if it belongs in compound or not compound. Then, practice writing the word and spelling it correctly. You can check your work against mine. Our next word is moonlight. Moonlight. That's a compound word because moon and light are both two words that could stand on their own. Our next word, firefly. Firefly. Great job, another compound word. You're starting to see that when two words are joined together, they make a compound word. Sleepover. Doghouse. Goldfish. Nightlight. Dazzle. Great job, this is our first not compound word because dazzle is just one word on its own and when you break it up by the syllable dazzle those two could not stand on their own maple jacket mascot respond retire polite cabin Rocket, bundle, humpback. Great job, I threw in another compound word at the end. Make sure you're practicing saying the words out loud at home, clapping out the syllables, and practicing writing and spelling them correctly. You did a great job with that today. Let's reflect on our learning. What does it mean to be independent? What does it mean to be an independent reader? What knowledge and skills do you have now that you did not have earlier in the year? How did you acquire that knowledge or skill? Great job today, second graders.